Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Get Ready With Me. We are going to be doing a fall Get Ready With Me today. And first off, I know we're in a different space. It's just been a while since I've actually filmed here at my vanity in our bedroom and I figured why not? Let's change up the scenery a little bit. And also we got a new bedspread and a new headboard since the last time I filmed in here. So that's a little bit of a newer backdrop. But for today's video, I'm gonna be creating this fall look. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do the reverse cat eye makeup look. This has been trending so much and it is definitely here to stay for fall. And then I'm also gonna be showing you guys how to achieve big bouncy curls using that Kristen S two inch soft bend curling iron that I showed you guys in my last review. But before we jump into this, get ready with me. I just wanna welcome anyone who is new to my channel. My name's Sarah. I create content on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. I would love it if you would subscribe and hit that notification bell and for everyone watching please don't forget to like and comment on this video it helps my channel out so much and also lets me know to do more of these videos for you guys but for right now let's jump into the get ready with me let's rewind the clock to before I got all done up all right so starting from scratch I got nothing on my face except for my moisturizer and my sunscreen and all I did was blow dry my hair. We are actually gonna jump into a voiceover for the rest of this video just because I am filming upstairs. It's really, really hot. And this room does have AC, but it's very, very loud. So I figured it would just be better if I just voiceovered instead. Also, it saves time because I'm not actually running late this time. Believe it or not, I'm running very much on time, but I just have a packed day. I'm trying to film another video after this. That's technically what we're getting ready for. And then also for my aunt's birthday, which I'm gonna head to after I'm done filming. So just in the interest of cutting time where I can, I am just gonna go ahead and voice over all of this. As you guys saw in the intro, I am gonna attempt a reverse cat eye. I'm very intimidated. This is gonna be my first time doing it, but let's just, you know, keep our fingers crossed that I can get it done in the first try. And I also do wanna try out that Kristen S two inch barrel again, but this time I'm actually gonna fully curl my hair. So we'll see what it looks like when we use that big of a barrel to curl your hair rather than just trying to fake a blowout. But anyways, I'm already sweating, so I'm gonna turn on the AC and we'll just go ahead and jump into the makeup. I decided to take advantage of the fact that I'm doing a voiceover and whiten my teeth. I just used the classic Crest white strips. And then I put my hair back with these Kristen S clips. I love these, these don't leave a dent and they hold back a lot of hair because my hair's thick. And then for my primer, I'm actually gonna go in with two, starting out with the e.l.f. Poreless Primer. I like this just for kind of like filling in my pores and evening out my texture. On top, I'm gonna layer it with the Exa Beauty Jumpstart Smoothing Primer. As stated in my review, I do like this primer. I like the finish on it. I just wish that it was a little bit more matte. Then I'm gonna pair it with the Exa Beauty High Fidelity Foundation. I love the coverage on this. The color is perfect. And I'm gonna be using the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush to apply it. This just gives a lot more coverage than if I were to use a sponge. usual I'm using my Holy Grail the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I have a little bit of a different routine that I've been doing. I just apply a little bit underneath my eyes and the areas that will kind of like lift my face and then on my nose, forehead and chin just to even it out and then I actually let it sit and move on to my brows. I'm going to be going in with the Colourpop Feather Brow Styling Wax which is my obsession. I mentioned it in my last favorites video. But I just brush my hairs up and out and you guys can see the difference it makes here between my two brows. And then I just fluff them up a little bit more and then smooth out the top of the shape. To fill them in a little bit because my brow hairs are a little bit sparse, I go in with this NYX brow pen. I love the tip of this, it's so fine so it creates really hair-like strokes. And then right here again, you guys can see the difference. Filling it in just a little bit in a couple of thinner areas really helps to give my brows a better shape. And then by now, my concealer has dried up just a little bit, just enough so that it's tacky and it's a little bit more opaque so I can get a lot better coverage using a lot less product. Once I've blended it all in with the sponge, I'm gonna go into the RCMA No Color Powder and set my concealer just so that I don't have any creases. And also, since I'm oily, I do set pretty much every step of cream makeup just because if I don't, I will end up like a grease ball later on in the day. To contour, I use the Juvia's Place Foundation Stick in a deeper shade, and I go underneath my cheekbones and then a little bit on my forehead and underneath my chin. A little bit goes a long way with this, so I just dot it on, and then later on I can deepen it up if I need to. To blend it out, I start with the Sonia Kashuk brush. This is a very dense blending brush, and it doesn't really absorb up any product. It kind of just like helps you to place 
the cream product where you need it to go and then to really kind of diffuse out the contour and make it a lot more natural I'm gonna go in with my sponge and use that to blend it the rest of the way Then because this contour is so intense, I'm not gonna set it with a bronzer or a contour powder. Instead, I'm gonna set my whole entire face with my regular face powder. Doing this will kind of help to pull back on the intensity of the contour so that it's not these harsh lines on your face. It's a lot more blended and feels a little bit more natural. And then I'm gonna clean up the cheeks with just a little bit of the RCMA No Color Powder. Now it's time to move on to the eyes. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. I'm keeping my top lids very simple since we're going to be doing the reverse cat eye. So I'm just starting out with a base of orange soda all over the lids. Next I'm going into burnt orange and defining my creases just a little bit. I don't want it to be too dramatic. Again, we're keeping the top lid very simple because all the drama will be on the bottom lid. That is actually going to be it for the top lids right now. We're going to go ahead and move on to the bottom lid. Taking a black pencil liner, I'm going to use that to trace my lower lash line and then extend out the line just a little bit further off to the side of my eye as like a little cat eye flick but on the lower lash line. I'm just using a small pencil brush, I'm going to blend out all of that liner that we just applied even for the wing on the side but I'm also going to use that to help shape the wing and extend it out just a little bit. To balance out my eye, I'm going to take that same black liner and use it to tight line my upper lash line. And then I'm going to use Noir from the Soft Glam Palette to set all of that liner and smoke it out. Using a fluffy brush and sienna from the palette, I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line even more just to give it a little bit more drama. And with a liquid liner pen, I'm going to use it to draw a little triangle on the inner corners of my eye for a cat-like effect. For a little dimension, I'm going to go into Tempera, which is this really creamy, beautiful, pearly kind of color from the Soft Glam Palette, and use it to highlight my brow bone and then also the inner corners of my eye. Then after curling my lashes, I'm going to apply a couple layers of mascara. I use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. Cheeks, I'm going to be using the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in the color Love. I am obsessed with this color. I think it's so pretty and it transitions really well into fall. A little bit of this stuff goes a long way to so start off with a small dot and then blend it out using a blush brush and then go in with a blending sponge later if you need to diffuse the color a little bit more. Then I just set my face using some setting spray before I go in with highlighter. I'm using Bliss from Ofra Cosmetics. They honestly have the best highlighters. They're so intense and so pretty. This one is like a true pearlescent color. It's very white, which I think is really pretty against this very, very smoky, dramatic eye. Then I popped on some false lashes. These ones are actually cut in half, so they're only on the corner of my eye, which gives more of a cat eye kind of effect. To start my lips, I'm going to line them with Sora for MAC. And then in the center, I'm going to use this liquid lip, also from MAC, in the color Burnt Spice. And that is it for this makeup look. Time for hair. All right, hello. It's good to talk to you guys again. I'm just plugging in the Kristen S 2-inch Soft Bend Curling Iron. And turn it on. I'm gonna turn it all the way up to 425, just because we're doing curls, so I want them to hold. So I'm just gonna brush out my hair really fast. My curler should be nice and hot, so we'll just go ahead and go in. I have actually done this a couple times, curling my hair with this, so I do have some tips on it. For this one, I actually start at the bottom because I want these to be big, bouncy curls, at least for the pieces on the underside because I really want that big curl to be nice and defined. And then I'll go in and just hold it 
for about five seconds and release and keep going. And then I do try to alternate the curls, but it is a little bit tough with this just because it is such a big barrel and my hair has a tendency to want to curl out versus in. So for inward like this, I do need to hold it a little bit longer or else it's not gonna like really curl and really hold. Okay. And oh gosh, that's really hot. Hold it for five to seven seconds. Oh gosh, let go, perfect. And when I'm curling my hair with this barrel, usually I'll alternate every other curl. I'll do front then back. But for this one, I actually do most of it facing outward because I want it to just kind of like be big and grand and just kind of all flow the same way. But I do still try to get at least a couple pieces that I'm curling inward just because if I don't, then my hair just turns into like one big wave. So just make sure that you're doing that if you are using this to curl your hair. Now moving into the top pieces all the way at the end. And for these top pieces, I do it the same. I'll curl starting at the bottom, but I'm gonna go back in at the end and then do a couple pieces starting kind of like from the top then working down just so that I can get a little bit more volume on my hair or else it just like looks all really flat than just tons of big curls at the bottom. So I've curled all the pieces. It's actually very fast starting at the bottom, but I'm gonna take just a few pieces near my crown, like I mentioned before. And we're going to curl this my regular way, just working top down. Just to give me a little bit more height. But there is what it looks like when you fully curl your hair using this curler. The waves are very big and soft. And they actually look better the longer you wear them because they kind of like relax and just get into that very undone, effortless kind of look. But I'm going to go ahead and curl the other side. And then after that, this fall get ready with me will be complete. Alright you guys, well that is going to be it for this fall. Get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please of course don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I love you guys. Thank you so much again for watching and I will see you guys very soon again in my next video. Bye!